Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Elinger from GamerVets.com and uh, as you can see I'm playing a little bit of uh, the, I think it's a Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the uh, trial for the DLC uh, that just came out recently. i um, doing the arcade mode which is uh, one of the options you can do in the trial version. Uh, basically it's kind of like a horde mode um, to basically survive uh, as long as you can. In this case they've made it um, for 10 minute increments, survive 10 minutes at a time until, I guess, until sunrise. Um, in this case, I'm in the cemetery. And uh, I guess for the trial, it's only four minutes long, but generally it's 10 minutes. Um, so you basically start off here in the cemetery with a flashlight, and uh, I think I'm just running around looking to see what to do. And uh, very similar to the other games where there's, a, I guess, an intermission where you can kind of regroup uh, or find ammo, objects, or whatever uh, before the next wave comes. Uh, again, this is, I think this is the first time I ever tried this, so I didn't really know exactly what to do. I already went through the, uh, I guess, the story mode um, trial, which I'll have the next uh, the next video. I'll come out later, but this one's a little quicker. Again, the only game is only, only five minutes, or four minutes long. So here we're going through a couple waves. Um, actually, a cool feature is that, that dodge attempt where God does like a mini slow mo, kind of like uh, the Max Payne that does that, kind of like a bullet time thing. Kind of neat. Um, so neat little effect. Pretty cool. Again, the, the waves are pretty easy, and I forgot some of the controls. I just threw some flares down for no reason. Um, again, you just gotta survive. Uh, it, it was actually pretty fun. I think it's uh, it's a cool little uh, add-on. I guess a lot of games are starting to do this. Any game that that uh, a third-person or first-person game seems like they're adding some kind of uh, survival mode. I guess to mix it up. One thing I did notice is that I didn't see a uh, co-op option, uh, which is a little disappointing. I think this this kind of game like this would be great for co-op. I'm not sure how long I would be playing by myself. Again, here I am trying to do that, that dodge feature. I think it's a left uh, left bumper to do that. And again, the light is kind of like a life. You, you get revive life to go down, so I try to stick around the life area to try to regain my, my, uh, my health. I've taken a couple hits. As you see, I'll take a few here. I couldn't really, even with the heads on, actually, it would be nice if you hear them uh, coming at you, but I didn't really notice it. Um, but again, it's uh, it's kind of cool. You just run around. I, I, I didn't really know where, where any, of the, uh, any of the better guns are. Um, I was just looking for those little, if you if you look at the screen, you'll see, I guess, a couple little bright areas. This is where all the, uh, I guess, objects you can pick up. So I was trying to find a better weapon. I was, I had, I was stuck with the, uh, I guess, the 9mm. And again, uh, I was kind of, I ran out of ammo here. And, you know, of course, I didn't know what the melee button was, so I just kind of ran around like an idiot. Yep, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> I'm, uh, I was trying to look for something to drop a flare, but I'm getting my ass kicked right here. I think I threw uh, either a flare or a flashbang to try to get myself some time. Um, you know, I, one thing, I, I haven't actually played the first Alan Wake. It's one of those games where I've been kind of wanting to play for a really long time. Um, but I was waiting for it to kind of kind of get cheap because I knew that as a single player game, it's not one that I really need to rush out getting right away. And those of you who do any kind of game trading and try to save some money, you'll know that uh, single player games tend to drop in price quite quickly. Uh, it's not something you, you really need right away, like like the way multiplayer is, where you know the longer you wait, the kind of more disadvantage you are uh, with many games. Just due to the fact that um, you know, there's a lot of progression and, and uh, leveling up system that. You, you know, you going against other competition. You've already spent that time leveling up and and uh, progressing their character or their skills. You're you're kind of at a disadvantage. You jump in a lot later, starting from scratch. But a uh, single player game again, you don't you know you can just t take your time and get it. But unfortunately, my my theory hasn't really held true. Is that this game is still relatively high price, which is surprising to me. I I, I was kind of waiting for it to hit the 19.99 mark, and uh, it still hasn't done that yet. But uh, again, I'm not really in a rush, so I'll I'll wait for it. You know, playing the, uh, the DLC here trial just gave me a, an idea of what the game is like, and you know it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. The uh, the elements. Uh, you know, as I'll, I'll go through the uh, story mode in you know, a little more detail of it, but uh, I like the way the move it moves. I like the uh, some of the bullet time elements, and I like how uh, utilizing the flashlight and guns at the same time. It's pretty cool. It's sort of like a, a slight take on uh, the zombies uh, to mix it up here. I, I don't know the whole story of what what it is, but uh, it makes me want to play it in more, so uh, again, I'll, uh, I'll definitely pick it up. Um, again, there's there's the first uh, arcade mode. Uh, you know, thanks for that quick little intro. I'll, uh, you know, stay tuned for the next set. I'll do one on the, I think it was it the uh, story mode, and uh, that's it for now. So this is Evelinger from GamerVets.com for a quick uh, demo uh, trial impression, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, talk soon. Take care.